Greetings everyone, this is your boy, Bobby 1984 coming to you with another Call of Duty Black Ops 2 game play play play, play. I'd like to thank everyone for joining me on my journey as I continue to be the best and the greatest and the most excellent scrub slash noob to ever play the game. We're playing a, a, let's see, a game of domination here on Yemen. And I finally, finally got myself a gameplay with an assault rifle. Man, I'm, I just don't know. These assault rifles just don't get it done. But this is my favorite assault rifle, the AN-94, a.k.a. Tina Fey. Because I, I, I think, I think I love her. I think I do. I've seen her. I saw her on the Golden Globes last night, and she just blew my mind. But we're going to get to Tina Fey in just a second. But let's just get these score streaks, death streaks, and point streaks out the way and perks. So I have a weird setup here. So I'm using... I'm using Tina Fey here, and with these assault rifles, some, I just got to load them up. So I'm, I'm actually Friendly using, I think, the uh, extended mag. Oh, man, shout out to my main man, Hood Chemist, for providing that nasty music. But as I was saying, I'm using um, extended mag, suppressor, and I think the adjustable stock. So I had to use pretty much all a lot of... A lot of my pick 10 set up. And then I'm running, I think, for the perks, I'm using hardline. And I skipped the second a second perk and I used the uh I guess a wild card so I can get an extra perk for the third slot. So I'm using dexterity and engineer. And for the score streak, point streaks, death streaks, I'm using uh the stealth chopper, the load star, and the warship. So in my last video, I was uh showing you guys my new playing style, running scared, and I was determined to get to those score streaks and I sucked pretty bad. And as you can see, we jumped ahead because I was uh, playing scared pretty much for about 20, 30 seconds. I was just running around this same area, just hoping some of these guys would come at me. So nothing was really happening. So that's why I jumped ahead. But as I was saying, you know, I, I really wasn't doing too well with my load star and my warship in my last game. So I was determined to unlock those bad boys again and see if I can do better. But this has been a pretty fun weekend, man. I, I, I pretty much on Saturday and Sunday just watched football. And I enjoyed the division rounds of the playoffs, man. And I think they said that this was the highest scoring division round for all the games. And I believe it because, man, they were going to work. Uh, I was so disappointed in my Broncos. Uh, Peyton Manning is one of my all-time favorite quarterbacks. And Champ Bailey is one of my all-time favorite uh, uh, DBs to ever play the game. I, I love him. I mean, especially I think he's better than Deion Sanders. I like Deion Sanders a lot, but I don't know. It, it, it's something about Champ Bailey that made him special over these last 10 or so years. But, oh, my God, Champ Bailey. It hurt my heart watching him get stumped the way he got stumped by Torrey Smith. I don't know what Jack Del Rio, the defensive coordinator, was thinking. Because after Champ Bailey got burnt that second time, like the first time he got burnt, it was for a touchdown. The second time he got burnt, Joe Flacco overthrew the ball. And I was thinking, Jack, don't you think it would be time to bring in a safety to help Champ, ba Champ Bailey? Yeah, I know I know he's a, a, a Hall of Famer, but... He's getting torched out here. He, he, looks, he looked like a faded boxer that's going against a young, more, you know, <laughs> powerful young fighter. You know, it was embarrassing. And then what was that all about with with them not letting, you know, Peyton Manning throw the ball? There's so many third downs that, that came and gone. And he run the ball on third and five or running on third. It's like, come on. It's Peyton Manning out there, you know. And how about downing the ball? With 25 seconds left to go and two in two timeouts, how do you not allow Peyton to try to score? You know, I I, I just don't know what was going on, but I don't know about y'all, but man, Colin Kaepernick was looking like the video game out there at the running for 181 yards, most by a quarterback in one game against the Packers. Boy, the Packers need to revamp that uh that defense. They need to be some run stoppers. Forget rushing the passer. They need to, they need to learn how to stop the run. Colin Kaepernick did his thing, man. I'm still a little shaky on the sh on the, the, the switch of quarterbacks, but I don't know. I don't know, man. It looked like uh, Jim Harbaugh knew what he's doing when he switched out the quarterbacks. And then the Falcons and Seahawks game was, was pretty exciting. I thought the Seahawks were going to get blown out after, after a while watching that, but they made a, the storm back. I mean, they came back. They fell just a little short, but Russell Wilson made a fan out of me because I hated Russell Wilson. At Wisconsin, I thought he was just a product of the system, and he kept, you know, was handing the ball off to Monty Ball and let him score them touchdowns. I just didn't, just didn't think Russell Wilson was a good quarterback. But man, he is looking like a, 
a, a modern day Doug Flutie out there, man. He he is something special. And the NFC West is going to be a tough, tough division for over the next few years. And the Pats just the Pats just destroyed the Texans. I mean, the Texans just never they never seem to play well against the Pats. And I predict it's going to be the San Francisco, San Francisco 49ers and the uh, New England Patriots in the Super Bowl. I I, I really believe that's what's, that's what's going to happen. But I enjoyed all the games except that one. But that was pretty cool. Cool. And then on Sunday night, man, I turned to the Golden Globes before uh, Shameless and uh, House of Lies came on. And, man, I knew about Tina Fey, but I just didn't know how sexy Tina Fey was. I mean, that dress she was wearing, well, she looked like she got a little bit of something, something on her, man. Got a nice little body on her. So, shout out to Tina Fey looking so sexy. You know, and then she do remind me of Sarah Palin. I, I remember people telling me that she, you know, did a little skit when she, you know, when she's impersonating Sarah Palin. I didn't, you know, I never saw it. But from what I saw last night, she do remind me of Sarah Palin. And for those of you who watched some of my older Modern Warfare 3 videos, you knew the Scar H. I named that after Sarah Palin. So, so shout out to Tina Fey, her little sexy self. And I think she's an older woman. Too. I think she's 40, 42. I don't know what it is about these older women. I love them. I do. I love these older women. I think I'm going to do a top five 40-plus women <laughs> of all time or something like that. And I think I'll do that in my next commentary. But, yeah, I enjoyed watching the few, you know, the 20, 30 minutes that I did sit down and watch the Golden Gloves. And shout out to Homeland again for winning the, was it, Best Drama Series, Best Actor, and Best Actress. I'm telling y'all, if you guys do not watch Homeland, you are missing out on a great, great show. I don't know what you got to do. You got to you know somehow get showtime go i don't even know if they got have a showtime go like they have hbo go but y'all got y'all have to, you guys have to watch homeland so oh and shout out to ben affleck and argo i haven't seen that but after they won those awards last night i'm gonna have to go ahead and wait for that to come out on blu-ray and check that out too so we talked about the great games the nfl games we talked about uh sexy tina fey talk about the Golden Globes and I see we're starting to run low on time here but I still I kind of want to get into this next topic but I know I'm not gonna have enough time but I'm just gonna give you like a brief overview and then I guess in my next commentary I'll go deeper into it so just want to let you guys know I think I'm being stalked or I'm being attacked by a cyber bully by a cyber bully right now it's it's, it's kind of crazy and disturbing and and the cool part about it is I know who the fan is I've actually helped this fan out by featuring a video of theirs on IGN, but yet this fan and one of his friends are actually coming after me, and it's quite it's quite disturbing, especially since <laughs> these fans are pretty young and and you know it's just it's actually weird, and I'm trying to figure out what I should do. Some some people has actually told me I should probably you know probably call the cops or something, but I just don't know yet. But as I tell you, I'm gonna get into detail next time. But we came. We saw, we conquered. If you enjoyed this gameplay, please subscribe to IGN, click the like button, follow me on Twitter. But we gone, 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 gone. gone.